First up, the west coast in Bailey's Beach, New Zealand's longest drivable beach, even longer than 90 mile beach, but taking a drive here can be fraught with danger. If you don't make it two hours before or after high tide, you'll end up in serious strife. The place is mainly holiday homes and there is swimming, but as it is a west coast beach, it is as dangerous as all get out and no reality show here to film you getting rescued. But it is after dark the place gets interesting, as Bailey's Beach is home to New Zealand's second largest publicly accessible telescope. Deborah Hamley has been crazy about astronomy for as long as she can remember. She is Canadian and moved here six years ago to realise her dream of opening an observatory. I came to New Zealand to set up the observatory and wow. then lucked out in finding a place. The first place I arrived was perfectly suitable. One of my friends suggested that what I really needed to do was move to New Zealand. Little did he know that within three months I would do that, um, having never been here before either. But um, I'd heard that the astronomy was so good here. In fact, you guys have like the best of almost every class of object, the best galaxies, the best globular clusters, the best nebula. You've got the best of everything. Yeah. So it's, um, it's fantastic. Your favorite constellation down here? Ooh. Probably, probably Crux. Is this is the Southern Cross. The Southern Cross, oh, and yeah, so the technical name is Crux. Don't show off. No one likes it. Planets. Planets. My favourite planet is Jupiter because there's just yeah, fantastic history. Um, because when Galileo um, first looked at it in 1610, when he saw the four little moons on either side of it and realised that they weren't background stars, and that meant that those little moons weren't going around Earth. And so that just changed science. So that for me is an exciting changed story. The world view, didn't it? it did. And it and Heretic. we can see we can see that yeah. same view. So it's lovely to say to people, this is what Galileo saw. Would you come to the same conclusions? Okay, so looking at Jupiter and through a large telescope you can see not only the two big belts of Jupiter, but you can see the great red spot tonight. It's amazing how clear that is. So what's special about that red spot that's always there, or...? Well, it's just a, a large storm. In fact, it's the largest storm in the solar system, and we've been recording for 300 years. Recording it's been going for 300 years. It's amazing, eh? You think that the, the planet Earth could fit inside of that? Inside that storm? Inside that storm. You're big on the moon, too. That's, that's just... Because why not? Yeah, well, it's funny because the moon was never one of my favourite things to observe, but um, people are blown away when they see the sort of detail we have on the screen and in the telescope. So it's very accessible because I can say to people, look, go and look at this at home with the moon. And everything we show on the tours, I make the point of making them um, so that if you had a pair of binoculars, you could take it and you could do it from home. And there's so many neat things like the Alps, which I'll hopefully show you tonight. Can you talk, eh? <laughs> Sorry, cut me off any time. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, what? Well, it's surprising that my daughter's a little chatterbox. Yeah. <laughs> so what you, am I looking at? Now, if you Light look, me up like a Christmas tree. Tell me what I've got. Okay, so up at the top end, you see a nice long gash where a meteorite has obviously not hit head on or straight on, but it's actually grazed the surface. Wow. I can see the gash. You can see the gash. And so if you were to be on the moon, that would be like a bit of a Grand Canyon on the moon. It's like the only straight line there, isn't it? It is, it is. There are not very many of those. Well, it's worth $30. I might come up for a week. <laughs> and I thought I came north to fall in love with Northland, but actually <laughs> I've come here and I've seen the gash of the moon.